So ABBN in neurology board exam is one of the most expensive board exams in the United States and you will take this exam usually either uh, uh, right after you finish your uh, residency training and you started your job or when you are doing your first two months of your fellowship and trying to learn it. So today we'll break down the best tools and tips for you to crush the neurology board exam in less time and better results. The first good news is that the passing rate of the ABPN in neurology board exam is 85% which means that it's very likely that you will pass this exam. And the second point is that the board exam is much easier than the right exam and that is in my own opinion. And make sure you stick until the end of the video because I will give you one secret tip to help you uh, pass the exam and maximize your study time. So the first question, when is the best time to study for the exam? It's highly recommended that you start studying for this exam early on when you're like just second year in neurology resident and use the books that we recommend today to prepare for your daily reading. And this way you will be prepared before uh, hand and if you don't have that, then you can prepare for the exam in July and August if you're not like moving around and, and figuring out your new job. And make sure you register in time because the late fees are $500. Oh my God. All right, let's talk about the best resources for you to pass the exam. There are three resources that you can follow to help you maximize your time and study. First one is that you want to make sure that you review a book that can review all the neurology board exam material and that should be fun comprehensive and easy to follow and the best book by far is the comprehensive review of clinical neurology by dr esteban ching ching uh, we call it the ching ching book and this book is very uh, good and comprehensive book it is directly to the point it follows the question and answer uh, method which is usually very engaging and makes the information relevant when they ask you about the question and the information they ask like what is the answer and they give you the answer which is really engaging and also this book comes in with an online subscription which i really love in any book i love to have an online subscription so that you can read the book in any place anywhere without necessarily having the physical copy on you uh, anywhere so this book is the second edition was made in 2017 so you need more updated information in some certain subjects and I will leave links in the description for all the books and the information that I mentioned in this video. So please let me know down in the comment what are your favorite neurology board exam uh, books and resources that you follow. And tip number two, you will need most updated information. So when I did my neurology board exam, like back in the days when the giants walked the earth, it feels like, um, lots of information have changed and updated since then. So you will need more updated information and you can find those in Continuum Neurology, especially the chapters about multiple sclerosis drugs and the new anti-CGRP uh, infusions for headache. Those new medication that definitely will come in the uh, board exam and you should be updated about them. And tip number three, you can get updated information uh, through a comprehensive course by the American Academy of Neurology board prep course. And this course is a very good and affordable course that you can uh, subscribe to. It has a um, comprehensive review of all the uh, neurology subjects and it does have uh, uh, voice interviews with the authors of those subjects that you know makes it more engaging and uh, help you study. Also, it uh, gives you a um, self-assessment exam by 250 questions that will assess your knowledge and strength in all subjects and it will give you the results of where are your strengths and weaknesses and uh, areas that you need to improve on. And also it will compare you to other uh, doctors and other participants who took the same uh, course. And this course comes at a discount for the junior AAN members. So use this when you can. And I will leave links in the description about this course and other materials we mentioned here. And of course, there are a ton of other courses and online subscriptions and, and uh, hospital-based uh, courses for their trainees. But I wanted to give you the symbol to follow uh, instructions and tools for you to pass the exam and at the end the secret tip so the secret tip is that your phone unplug it break it sell it on ebay do something with your phone because your phone is the major distractor when you study 
So follow the 50 uh, 10 rule. So you study for 50 minutes and then you take a break for 10 minutes. And the break is not like you go to WhatsApp or go check your Twitter account or Instagram because that will take like uh, 10 hours. No, just uh, clear your mind, go exercise, eat something and do some uh, activities and then go back to study. And every time you check out your phone or like see a notification, that will push the brain out of focus and, and you need about 15 minutes to go back and focus and start absorbing information. So this is a really serious issue that you should consider when you're preparing for your exam. And to learn about other uh, board exams, how to study neurology and the best tools for that, and for an exclusive interviews with uh, book authors, please see those videos and see you in the next video.